welcome back. This tutorial is the sixth one in the beginner series, but it's also for everybody because this is a concept I haven't taught before, even though it's easy. It's fifths against thirds. So you're going to learn all sorts of things. You're going to learn how to stack them and roll them. Echo them in contrary motion. You can mix uh, rocked and blocked. I always think a nice way to start is with the F fifth because it's easy to see the blue and the red, and the F third it's easy to see because it starts with the blue. So sisters would be across from each other in the same octave. But we're going to start with stacked. So bring your right hand up so that you've got an F fifth, and on top of it is stacked an F third. So place like that and block them all together in unison. Do that a few times. And now echo them. Now go from the F down to the C. It's a tiny chord progression. Now echo them. Now echo them. Never be in a rush. Now you're going to rock them. Place on the C. Colors. Now to them sisters right across from each other. So blocked, C, then F blocked, C blocked, and F blocked. And now do them echoed, C, F, C. Again, you use the colors. I, I like to use colors to see where I'm going when I start learning something. One way to get this whole hand pattern or movement into your brain is to do kind of a scale of it. So you could start on a C and go to a D, E, they're stacked, so try that now. And of course you can do them blocked that way. Now you could also do block to echo. That means one side, left, then right. So try that with the scale. All of these are going to be really Another way to get something into your system is to leave one hand anchored. So I'm going to anchor my hand on the C and leave it there so I don't have to think about it. But I'm going to do the pattern, which is, in this case, rocked like that. So you can just do it that far.
Then you can also put it in the sister's position and do that, leaving your left hand anchored and just moving your right hand. You could also do blocked like that, just to get used to that feeling. Feeling, and then you can do blocked echo. You don't have to go up the scale; just go up some and come down some, or you can do the whole scale. And that way. If you need to look, you can just look at your right hand because your left hand is just doing the same thing. Now I also love rocking the fifth up and the third down. So first of all, call and response. In other words, the left hand goes all, both notes, right hand goes both notes. So. With that, all I did was I stayed anchored on the C, and I did a C third, and I went up one to a D third, came down one to a C third, came down one to a B third, but I was rocking them down. Let's see. So first, let's just do the right hand. So a C third, and then a D third, C and B. First of all, play it blocked like that, so that you just get used to where they are. Now I'll do it rocked. Now do the C third stacked on the C fifth, but just once, up, down, and do that again a few times. Now do the whole progression. So you're anchored on a C here, so that's pretty easy. This one is the one that's moving. Now you could start in sister's position, too. So this is a, a C against a C, C fifth, C third. So now let's see, let's rock them up. And a call and response, left hand goes before the right hand, so. I'm gonna move my right hand up just one. Left hand is anchored on the C. Keep moving right your hand up one. Now let's do that on a minor. So we're gonna start it on a D against a D. And same thing, I'm gonna keep my left hand anchored on the D. Now let's do it on an F, which is easy to see because of the F fifth is great. So I'm gonna do it fast so you can just hear how it might sound. So I went from an F to a G to an A back to a G. This is great for improv. You can do anything you want. Now, I'm gonna now I'll do it slowly the way you might do it. Both hands are coming, rocking up. So. Now 
I'll start on a G here. And you're going to do this, and you'll do start on sisters right across from each other in the same register, same octave. And uh, I'm just going to improvise, so I might go G, A, B, A, G. I might go down to the F. You just have to experiment and see what sounds good, and then it's just uh, endless improv, so... with the blocked. Now what about rocking down with your right hand when you're rocking up with your left hand when you're starting in sister's position? So let's start on a D just to make it have a nice minor sound because we're in the key of C so that's D minor, D against D. So let's try. Let's do the same thing, but end it with moving the left hand on from the anchor D down to an A. They're both minor. So let's see. Let it ring. What about starting? You've still got the, the fifth in the left hand and the third in the right hand, but what about starting with the right hand going down? So what if we did, let's see. Try that. This, <laughs> this is probably a good stopping place to practice what you've got here and start to mess around with it and be free with it, try different rhythms and improvise with it, and then we'll come back to the same thing and do some more. Thank you.